In these problems, we're looking at some patterns where if you cut them out and folded them on the lines, they might make some three-dimensional shapes. Another name for these patterns is nets. Let's look at this first one. It says, which figure below is a two-dimensional pattern for a rectangular solid? So something that you could fold up into either a rectangle. Actually, in this case, since they're squares, it looks like it might fold up into a cube. This one, I can kind of just imagine in my head that it's not going to fold very right, because if you try to fold along all those lines, you're really going to crumple it up. And this one doesn't look like enough to make a cube. One, two, three, four. There are only five pieces here. And I know a cube has six faces because a, a, a die has six sides. These two, though, are a little more confusing to me. And maybe you can uh, visualize both of these in your head and fold them up and see that one of them folds into a cube and one of them doesn't. But if you have a little trouble with that, one thing you might want to do is actually print them out and fold them up and see what happens. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to fold this one up. A little small. But this one, I get a cube. I don't know if you can see that very well, but all the sides folded so that I get a cube. Let's see what happens when I do this one. Something funny is going on with this one. Okay, so I get to this point, and I've got five sides of my cube, but if I would try to fold on that last flap, it would go over a side that's already been made. Let's do that, and leave one side open. So that one doesn't work. Those two are pretty close, and one of them works and one of them doesn't. So our correct answer here is going to be C. Let's look at another one. This one might be a little bit easier. It says, what diagram below will fold to become a cylinder? And you should know that a cylinder is like a soup can, and it has two circular ends. And then this area in between the two circular ends, if you were to pull the label off of a soup can and flatten it out, it would be a rectangle. So you'd have a rectangle and then the two circular tops and bottoms. So hopefully you can see that's going to be this. So this is the diagram that would fold up to become a cylinder. This, of course, would be a cube. I'm not sure if that, what that would be. Maybe that would be a cube or maybe something weird. That looks like it would be a hexagonal prism. Yeah, it looks like the right number of sides for a hexagon. All right, let's do uh, another one here. Okay, this one says, which figure is formed by folding the net? How many faces does the figure have? And you might be able to see, this has got three long sides, and if you folded those, they would make sort of a triangular shape, and then these two triangles would be the end. And so you'd have a triangular prism. But if that's not obvious to you in your head, you might want to just practice and get used to it by actually cutting it out and folding it up. You see when you fold those sides, you get this sort of triangular shape, and then these triangle ends will fold down and you get a triangular prism. Again, I don't know how well you can see that. There's our triangular prism. So this is, uh, uh, it's a figure that has one, two, three faces, long faces, and then those two faces on the end. So it has five faces, and this is a triangular prism. So that's a little bit of work with nets for solid figures. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus, an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you want to check us out, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.